All right, we're in Psalm 108, and we need this one. It's very short, but very encouraging. Here's what it says. My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make melody with all my being. Just think for a second, what would that look like? If you were worshiping God, if you were making melody with all your being, what would it be? When's the last time you worshiped like that? Awake, O harp and lyre, I will awake the dawn. He's saying, I'm going to wake up the sun this morning. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praise to you among the nations, for your steadfast love is great above the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth, that your beloved ones may be delivered. Give salvation by your right hand and answer me. What he's dealing with here is there's a building up through praise. As we're worshiping together, there's a building up. As we look at God and his faithfulness, as we praise him, it strengthens all of us. Hallelujah. I can't help but think of a song whenever I look at verse 5. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Right, Your steadfast love. Like, it's just beautiful. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Verse 7 goes on and says this, God has promised in His holiness with exaltation, I will divide up Shechem and portion out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is my helmet, Judah my scepter, Moab is my wash basin, upon Edom I cast my shoe, over Philistia I shout in triumph. What is he talking about? There's a building up through his word. He's looking and saying, God has been faithful, God has been trustworthy. As I look back on the way that we have had the opportunity to conquest these people, God has always been faithful. So first we see there's a building up through praise. Then we see there's a building up through his word, the truth that has been established, remembering what God has done. So verse 10 goes on and says this, who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? You do not go out, O God, with our armies. O oh, grant us help against the foe, for vain is the salvation of man. With God we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. What is this saying? That we are to have the confidence to obey. God calls us to do things. God challenges us to operate in obedience, but we can have the confidence, one, because we've been built up through praise and we've been built up through His Word. So, thank you for joining with me today. May it be that you're built up through His praise and that you're built up through His Word, and now you're able to go and obey for His glory. Have a great day.